gonna go pick some flowers, cut some flowers for some bouquets. Using a bunch of the wildflowers, kind of what a lot of people would call weeds, out here on the berm before Jace mows most of them down. Imagine he typically does that. Um, but they've been fantastic um, as we go over there. Some of them are like eight feet tall now, which is crazy. Um, so I just uh, use some of them for the greenery. I use the Queensland's lace a bunch. Um, and uh, we leave a lot of it anyways in, in the bigger areas. Um, so I really try to pick the stuff that I know is gonna get bowed down more than anything. So I do have some stock over here that will be used as the kind of the big pieces. And I have a bunch of status this time. I'm not sure if I'll use them in there or if I'll just continue to um, hang it for drying. And then I was thinking about cutting some of these ageratums. Some of them are actually tall enough, which I'm really excited about. And I have a bunch of Rebecca. There's a bunch of baby bunnies back here. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I have all these really cool, interesting plants back here that make for really fun greenery and like these. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> Probably should look them up if you know, uh, let me know. But um, they dry out and make really cool dried uh, items too. As they dry, they go kind of like a pinkish peach. So I'll probably use some of those today. Um, some really cool grasses. And then this is kind of the back berm here, a pollinator berm that I've been trying to make better. So when Jace did all the cleanup to get this level, um, he pushed a bunch of stuff here to help build up this bank because it is a very decent size um, drop off down to the woods. And so um, I've been Every uh, last couple years, I've been putting some compost up on here and throwing some wildflower seeds, and then also taking seeds from around the property of just wild things like Queen's End Lace and um, throwing them here, which has been fun to see. I also threw some onions in there, um, onion seeds. So there's some onions growing, which is interesting. Um, a lot of Rebecca. Look at these doubles or triples. I don't even know. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Some yarrow seeds I threw in there. I really like yellows and whites together, although it's kind of funny. Typically I'm much better about making sure I have a variety of colors in places. Um, <laughs> just not, not yet here. Um, I love these grasses. So I like to use a lot of different textures when I can, and I'm still learning and trying to do better. But Stock is looking still pretty good. Still have a few waiting to bud, or just budding. And a lot of this is going to get turned over to the next uh, flowers. So zinnias, and looks like, this looks more like a sunflower actually. I wonder if a few of these sunflowers actually made it. Um, so, We'll try to put some more sunflowers in here, um, like 65, 75 day sunflowers. And then I have a middle section there and the status is looking still really good. I keep coming in and picking it. And this stuff is close to maybe two and a half, three feet tall now. So I'm really happy actually with that. Status has done the best out of everything. So, Give this video a thumbs up if you ever get lost with what you're doing and distracted in your gardens or in your yard because I just lost my bucket. <laughs> it's way over here. I did get some oregano um, flowering herbs that I needed to trim and I think they'll be really, really pretty in the bouquets. 
how I would have ever found this again, I don't know. I just was retracing all my steps. I didn't have anything in it yet. So, that's always fun. I'm gonna harvest some of the clean, queens and lace and some of these guys, and maybe even some of these. They're pretty unique. I don't know yet. And then I definitely wanna get some of these. So that's on the list. And Rebecca, I may do in the morning. I'm gonna stop harvesting greens now. And Queen's and Queen Anne's Lays, I cannot say that right. Because I'm guessing I have plenty and I can always come out in the morning and grab them. But look how gorgeous all of this stuff looks. And that's all from just right here in the backyard, or back behind the garage. The only thing that was from the side garden by the house were these two herbs. But all of this is all wild, not planted, which is kind of cool. And all <laughs> uh, in places that would typically get mowed or weed whacked. So um, I don't feel like I'm harvesting things that I shouldn't be, which is kind of always a good thing. I just found a really awesome yarrow patch, which I'm really excited about. I'll be picking some of those. All right, so I have all these wonderful flowers and greens and grasses inside now and here in the garage. It's a little cooler in here. A bunch of stock and adgeratum and the yarrow I found. The yarrow is really tall and there's a bunch more but I might have Jay help me in the morning because it's on a bank and after my hip replacement I still don't have great balance. Um, but all these grasses are just, I think that's my problem is I like grasses too much and then I try to fill up the bouquets with too much grass. So we'll see how I do here. Um, and then there's the status in here. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of that this time. I still need to do the yellows, the Rubecchia, in the morning. But I might try to throw a couple of these together now. Really love this stuff. I think it reminds me a little bit of the, um, the corals in the ocean. I don't know. If you guys know what it is, let me know. I've got some work to do. So I have a big mess to clean up, but um, some of this is also from the garlic that I cleaned up last week, so I will be doing a full cleanup of the garage. But I was able to make five bouquets. I think they came out all right. I'm still practicing, still got some work to do, but I am loving the grasses. I know this looks more like a fall one, but it just speaks like meadow field to me. There's some stock in here flowers. Um, I also used some oregano flowers for some feller here. And I, 
I think I wasn't planning on putting Queen, Queen Anne's lace in all of them, but I did. Here's a pink and white one. Again, some more oregano flowers. This might be thyme. No oh, oregano. It's just a different type. And then this is just one I just finished. I really like the colors of this one with the grasses. Let me know what you guys think. I still have to put them into um, the um, paper and then they will be ready to go to the homestead market up in Winston, Mass. And I didn't have too much extra this time, which I was happy about. Um, some few grasses and some Queen's Inns lace and then I didn't use as much of this like mock rosemary, I don't even know what it is as I did last time. Got some grasses here on the table still. But, loving the greens. I'm loving this stuff. The textures are just fascinating to me. Let me know if you have any suggestions or advice and um, I will show you guys um, once they're all papered up and up at the market. These are the flowers I'm sending to the market. Still getting used to using the paper. This one's a little smaller. So I was thinking about putting it in a mason jar instead. But I think I'm getting a little better at this. A little better than last week's. Still a lot of playing to do. And I got these cool, kind of cute little buckets 